is up humanoid nation it's your favorite fig Blech. i fucked my own intro up ha! it's your favorite mexican coming right back at you today so today's reaction i'm reacting to the channel is death battle i'll never do that again i'm sorry so this time it's power rangers versus voltron i'm a power ranger fan not ashamed to admit it come at me fight me but I love Power Rangers since it came out in 93. I've been hooked ever since. There's some, been some bad seasons. I do not like Mystic Force. Yes, I said it. Everybody in that show pisses me off. Such bad characters. Xander is so annoying. The only one that uh, was truly a good character was Madison. There were some great seasons. RPM, Time Force, Season 1, Season 2 of M NPR. Zio... A little bit of turbo but yeah and then there's uh seasons now i can barely remember them like what's that one ninja steel the one that just came out okay i'm talking much so power rangers power rangers i know a lot voltron i used to watch a little bit when i was a kid so let's see what the death battle guys have to do for the death battle let's do this <laughs> Scanners on, team! Seems the prehistoric activity originates here! Finally! If I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. Oh, we're doing season Wait, one Rangers with I'm dinosaurs. I'm picking up something! Yeah, baby! Power Rangers! Hello! We need dinosaur power now! Mark, what's happening? I think I found the dinosaurs. All right, Rangers, plug off! Zach here. This is kicking. This is Billy. All systems go. Training reporting. Ready to rock. I love this part. Let's tame these kids. Nice stereo. For Voltron. Uh, I gotta nitpick a little bit. I gotta nerd out for a second. Why are the Power Rangers starting to fight? They don't know. Either Zordon told them that. Oh my God. I'm okay. Just, I'm just accepting this. I'm just. Let's just accept this. I. <laughs> I don't want to get into, into this. <laughs> On feet and legs, form arms and body, and I'll form the head. Mega Zord Power. Damn, the Megazord is bigger? Okay. Oh, they got flight mode. Megazord doesn't have flight mode. Ooh! Oh! Damn! Damn, most Voltron has some more shit. Yeah, use that Mastodon shield. Yeah, boy. Oh, straight through. Let's go. Oh, come on. Let's go, baby. Uh Ah, uh, it's going down or not. Um isn't this usually the part where we win? Yeah. Oh, Megazord's getting his ass kicked. Uh, if you bring the dragon sword in, that'd be great. 
Oh, I forgot he could do that. Right in the face. Oh. Ah, uh, you're fucked, Voltron! Alright guys, let's finish it! Finish them! We need to move! Get out! Oh! Pidge! The sword! Give him covering fire! With what? Everything! I gotta say, this is kind of a good fight, but... Technology rides, Voltron has that future power. The Megazord has that 93, 1993 power, so they're pretty much fucked. Or not. Quick, redirect the energy! It's too much! Ah, oh, they killed my Megazord! I was right, future technology wins! Now that's what I call a battle! There's a good reason why Voltron is the defender of the universe. While the Megazord boasted excellent abilities in hand-to-hand -hand and sword combat, Voltron couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's blazing speed. I mean, Voltron travels between galaxies in a matter of hours, and it can fly. The Megazord once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons, 133 feet into the air. In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Despite Damn. Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Plus, Voltron clearly had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. The Omega Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself, which means the comet could output forces of over 13 sextillion newtons. Sextillion newtons? I learned something new today. Close to that level of power. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded Thunder their mech to the yeah. Thunder Megazord. The Thunder Megazord. Which is specifically stated to be more powerful than the original Megazord in every way. Because of Season 2 Super Sentai. Dio Ranger. Your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this so they new brought in the Dio Ranger season. A giant Zord called Serpent Terra, which at full power could destroy planets. A Unless you need to recharge it. Easily tore the Thunder Megazord apart. And that blast didn't even use half of Serpent Terra's power. Voltron outclassed the Megazord in almost every way that counted, including strength, speed, and durability. Trust me, I'm not lying. The winner is Voltron. Don't yeah. go away, we're about to reveal who's fighting in the- Alright, so yeah, Voltron winning, yeah. That'd be- I can see why, because like, he has way more power and like a lot more stuff. And like I said, Megazord 1993 technology. Only had two finishing moves and used punching a lot. But if you brought the Dragon Zord in and combined the two, what we're doing is just the Megazord by itself. I understand that. But then Season 2 MP, M, MPR, they did brought in the, the Thunder Zords. Way more power. And then the Ninja Zords in, Ninja, in Season 3. But yeah, the Megazords got way more powerful around. Uh, was it Lost Galaxy? Or light speed. As the regular Megazords just had like one or two finishing moves up until Zeo or Turbo. I got, I, yeah, my brain is going over, my nerdgasm is going strong. Anyway, that's it for now. Human Nation, Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito. Nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Cuando tú me ves.